So we're going to call you Scott. And you had some very good success with your traffic tickets and helping other people with traffic tickets. They added up to about eight tickets and you won every single one. So yes, there's been uh, uh, eight in a row that we've successfully defended, uh, whether it's for, for myself or friends and family around me, I've helped out as well. So we're going to talk about how you did that. Correct. And you do have a very specific process and you have a very specific way you did that. It doesn't involve any kind of sovereign ch challenge of jurisdiction, pounding the table, getting angry, getting belligerent, none of that. Yes. It's all actually within jurisdiction. We're not challenging your jurisdiction. Yes. All We're those not. other examples are great examples. This yeah. way, we I'm fighting the ticket within the system, right. within the law that by California the, provides. By their rules. And it's free. Right, right, as, right. It's as, as cost me a few dollars in yeah. postage. Yeah, a little bit of paperwork to do. Paperwork. Okay, so now we're going to go straight into how you do it, but we're going to do it chronologically. Okay. So you get pulled over by a police officer. And by the way, let's make it clear, we respect police officers. We respect what they do. We're not here challenging their job other than we're not, I, I'll say this is my position, you tell me your position. I have much more respect for a police officer who is protecting us from criminals and, and who is uh, uh, adhering to his constitutional oath and whatever, than when a police officer becomes a revenue collection agent on petty traffic issues. That's my position. Is, yeah, I agree. Uh, I think the police officers, uh, I have friends that are on uh, various police officers uh, on the force, various forces uh, throughout Southern California, and they also detest being revenue collectors for the state of California. Having to do that. They, they, they're there to fight crime and to protect people. And Be a, lot, a good guy. A lot of them are just writing tickets. And being Very a bad expensive guy. tickets. Yeah. And, and uh, it's, it's become for a... For harmless acts, by the for way. For harmless acts, yeah. uh, for acts yeah. that they yeah. and their family, you know, who doesn't drive 75 in the fast lane in L.A. traffic? Right, right, right. So... And this get, is, you know... Get nabbed. So, all right. So, so now... So, I, uh, just to be clear, I, I do yeah. hold uh, police officers that fight real crime in very high esteem. Exactly. Um, Which and, they deserve. And, yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. So, so we're getting pulled over by a police officer here, maybe speeding, say. That's kind of the common one you've dealt with, uh, with you and your yes. friends. Okay. So speeding and the police officer pulls you over and says, uh, you know, do you know how fast you're going or whatever the little trick they're going to pull. And what do you do? Um, I just provide them my, my driver's license information, you know, the, the insurance, you know, the paperwork, no uh, argument, I, no argument. Do not engage them in any way. Uh, usually eyes down, head down, I don't want to engage them in any way. If they make it a non-memorable experience, non-memorable for, for the officer. Yes. So it's just like they're not thinking. Okay, here's another ticket. Go, move on. Correct. And and what we're talking about now, this all bears on this process. You're going to explain. So this, yes. so it's very important that you do this. You be non-memorable, non-confrontive. You do. I do recommend. And, and you, oh, the, the one key is you do not want to admit guilt. Don't admit guilt. That's exactly what I was going to say. They will ask you in various ways like you to said how fast do you know yourself. how fast you're going do you know why you were pulled over right i usually could because everything you say will be held against you in the court of law absolutely i usually just shrug my shoulders yeah and give them the 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 yeah just not, try to get the dumb look that, whatever a dumb you look. say dumb look and that, i recommend that you because a dumb look can be interpreted as an admission of guilt well i guess i didn't know how fast i was going you know so so my my you know we we might disagree on this and mm -hmm. that's fine uh you, you make up your own mind but but my suggestion is to say respectfully my attorney said not to answer any questions and they'll say oh who's your attorney they try to trap you mm -hmm. and you say respectfully my attorney said not to ask questions answer questions like that and you just you're you're invoking the fifth amendment but you're blaming it on your attorney and so you you don't look like some patriot or anything like that just, yeah. i had an attorney that told me not to answer questions i'm sorry your honor respectfully that's probably better advice so, than so the dumb look theory. You're, well you're supposed to invoke your your right yeah. of silence rather than just be silent i mean yeah. they kind of look at it that way yeah. okay so now we've got the traffic stop kind of handled you've signed the ticket it's been a normal day for the cop no yes. big no big uh, nothing out of the ordinary and no confrontation no no resistance yes okay now uh what's the first thing after that you got to do uh, after that, then I go to the, the county court website that 
uh, that issue the tickets. And uh, there's various options available depending on county by county within Southern California and I've, in Northern California. Um, some will allow you to ask for an extension online. Click. You want to get an extension. You're going to need some time to do a little paperwork. Yeah, the bottom line is we need, to, we need an extension and we need to plead not guilty. Right. And it's more convenient uh, to sit at home and to click the mouse and to get these if, if those options are available. Yeah. The county websites I found are uh, difficult to navigate, but spend a few minutes, really make sure that it's not available. Worst case, you drive down to the county clerk's uh, office, the, the courthouse, and stand in line and get to a, to a clerk, and then uh, you want to uh, ask for an extension that way. Right. Um, and plead not guilty if, and that, plead not if guilty. that comes up at that time. I think my experience is that you don't do the plead until you're actually in an arraignment or something. Yeah, you know, sometimes I'll do just the extension uh, and walk away. Other times I'll do the extension and, oh, by the way, let's just put it on, ask the clerk, by the way, can we also set a trial date? Right. Um, sometimes they, the clerks, I don't know if they're trained or sometimes they, they just want to, well, let's just set a, a traffic uh, a trial date within like two or three weeks. Right. Well, that is, that is You cannot do that. You cannot agree to that. Um, I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but it's you have to have at least a 30-day window to do the paperwork the, you're going to suggest. The, yeah, the discovery yeah. motion right. is all based on the Penal Code 1054, which uh, states that the prosecutor has uh, has to, within 30 days of your trial, hand over all evidence, um, testimony, and anything that will be used against you in trial. And they're given a certain amount of time to respond. So, Correct. So you need this at yeah, least so, 30 days. So Yeah, at least 30 days. So extension and then set a trial date for at least 30 days out right right uh and and i i don't i don't quote or cite oh i'm gonna be filing a discovery motion therefore yeah. i need 30 days i just say don't oh whatever the... whatever date they offer i just say oh i'm unavailable i know i'm unavailable that day right. can we do it like in two weeks after that right if you so, come in with a humble gosh oh, attitude gee, can't you help me yeah yeah uh, and, and... i don't i don't go you know, whether with the police officer, the, the clerk, or the judge, I, I'm not, you don't these push. are my rights. No, no, no. I'm yeah. like, golly gee, can you help a guy out? Yeah, right. And 99% of the time, they usually help you out. Right. And and you can save yourself possibly a court appearance, uh, the arraignment, by requesting that of the court clerk. If the court clerk can set up that date for you 30 days out or more, yeah. uh, then you've saved yourself an arraignment appearance. Yes. So, so, so it's worth asking. Yes. And however your courthouse wants to do that, you just say, okay, we'll do that. Yeah. You went in and you requested an extension, but when you go to the court clerk to do that, you already want to have this other piece of paperwork ready. Is that correct? Yes. And what is that called? This is a discovery motion. Okay, and so, so this is online at freedomtaker.com, free download, template already already laid out you just fill in your own information you go through every word of it make sure it sounds right makes it's applicable yeah, the, to you these are ones that that uh, that have been used successfully right uh you have to make it your own right each each citation yeah. is different so you edited microsoft word or whatever yeah. word your processor name, your citation yeah. and you right. got to read through it and make sure it applies to yeah, it your make, case it makes that, sense yes okay so you got to do that before you go to your first appearance with the court clerk and in the court clerk you're getting your extension and then you're going to present this motion for discovery and you want to do this and explain the conformed copy and all that How yeah do we do that? so i asked the clerk uh that they file this with the with the courts and with the, i've never the case. had yes with the case i've never had them uh push back or or no, do any objection they, to that. File they, these they, all they day take long. it and yeah. then if you ask nicely uh you can say can i have a conformed copy yeah. And they'll gladly, you know, they take do that all the time, two more yeah. seconds, boom, they give you a copy that back. That means you have to have an extra copy that they stamp and hand back to you. Yes. And, and that tells, you have a copy that said, I did give this to the court on this stamped date. Yeah, they basically just stamp it up in the corner yeah. and it says the and, date. Yeah, this um, is very, very important to protect you from somebody saying, oh, well, you never, you know, we lost that or it's not here or I'm sorry, you must not have given it to correct. it. Correct. You know, so you have your conform copy, yes, Your Honor. I gave it to the, court, the clerk on this date. Here's my conformed copy. Yeah, so I have a total of four of these, the exact same document, four of them. So there's more. There's not just two copies. No. Then. So there's one filed, one conformed, and then I immediately get in my car and I drive to the post office and I mail uh, <laughs> one to the issuing agency, whether it's the city police or the highway patrol or sheriff's department, uh, to their 
nearest branch where I received the they ticket. Ha they have to receive notice. Yeah, and, about I, and these I, when things. I when I mail the both these, uh, I'm going to mail them as um, uh, certified certified co signed receipt. Certified copy signed receipt. Yeah. So I get a receipt back that they in fact received right. this document. And if you don't get the card back or it's not signed right or it's just got a rubber stamp or something, you can look that up on USPS.com, look under tracking and put in your number from your certified mail and boom, there it is, delivered on such and such. You print that out and yes. you and you put that with it. And it's and that's critical to the case. You yeah. will be asked for that for the for proof of service. Right. So you need to have that yeah. in your possession by the time you go to your trial. Very good. So you send one uh, so we've mailed one to the issuing agency. The next right. one, same thing, same document. Right. Another copy to the district attorney of that county. Right. That's who is the prosecutor? The, who is right. the prosecutor of your case? Right. They have to be notified on all these things. So, so those three notices go: one to the court clerk, and two in the mail to one to the prosecutor, and one to the issuing agency. And that is a motion of for discovery. And before we put that down, let's give people a little hint as to how important this is. Okay. This is the whole document that's going to sort of jam up the whole works. Yes. And, and probably lead you, in your case, eight in a row to a dismissal. Correct. This document alone. And the reason for it is because there's things you're asking for the police and you're asking for them to show in terms of evidence. It's a request for discovery. They have to show their case mm -hmm. and you can ask for whatever and you've asked for some rather technical things and they just don't want to be bothered. Correct. And And if they don't bother, due process is gone. You have grounds for dismissal yes. and you have a motion for dismissal. Yes. So I've, this, I've shown this, this to very... actual police officer friends of mine yeah. and said, what would you do if you got this? Yeah. And they said, well, we probably wouldn't receive it. The watch commanders would just throw them in the trash. They They're wouldn't not gonna... let me take the time to do this. Th this is time consuming. Yeah. Police department actually do have better things, things to, to do. do. Yeah. Like but if they crime. don't do it, you have grounds for dismissal. Correct. And okay. one time I did receive back a, uh, a simple letter uh, stating, here's a few things that you've asked for and the rest don't apply. Yeah. Well, that's not their their determination to make. Right. So any income lack of response or incomplete response is a motion grounds which, for dismissal. Grounds for dismissal, which we'll talk about next. Very good. So so that that is now going out to everybody that needs a copy of that. Yep. And then um, is so there, there anything else in the process now that before we get to this? No. Okay. No. no you uh, uh, you wait. We're, we're waiting. You, you're now waiting the, the thirty response. days. So we've yeah. got the trial date. Let's say forty days out. Yeah. But the, the 30 days have passed. So in between the 30 days when you first filed uh, and the uh, trial, now I'm going to walk into the court clerk with my motion to dismiss. Based on the idea that you haven't got adequate response by mail, which I think you've said is almost zero chance that they're really going to answer all the questions that you yeah. had. In Even your if motion. they do respond, it's going to be incomplete. Yeah, yeah. And then either way, it's yeah. incomplete. And it says it in here. Right. When you see lack of or incomplete. You have to dismiss. Right. When you, yeah, according to case law, mm -hmm. uh, when you see the uh, request for discovery, you'll understand why, it, you know, they, it's incomplete. It's difficult for them to get all those answers, and Correct. they and they're not, they they don't like to spend their time doing that. Yeah. yeah. So so now you're walking into court. You're actually going into your trial. Oh no no. Oh well. Okay. I filed this with the clerk again. Conform the, copy oh, back. Oh, so you put now. This is the motion for dismissal. Motion for dismissal. So this okay. is this is straight to the judge saying, Your Honor, it's been 30 days. I've not been given the evidence that I request. So therefore, based on that, California Penal Code 1054, uh, and all the subsequent um, to that, uh, you the law says we have to dismiss this case. Right. So I'm not asking for them, I'm dealing with the court clerk in front of me. All I'm asking is they file this, so that right. I know the judge will see it, it's on record, and right. I ask for a conformed copy back, now I'm ready for trial. Very good. And so you wanna do that at least two days before your trial, if possible. Anytime, the anytime after the 30, 30 day window from when you first requested, and in between the 30 and the actual trial date. Okay. Anytime, it's up to you. Yeah, but but if it's if it's right up at the trial date, the prosecution could say, "Hey, uh, you know, we didn't have time, we didn't get that," or you, they could play games with you. If you get it in no, a no, e even like day before trial. Last one I did was two days before the trial. Yeah. But the fact is that thirty days was their window to act, and just okay. because it's day before, I'm just saying they didn't act the last thirty days. Yeah, I never got anything. I never got anything. Okay, so so or, or I got something, but they did, didn't really answer my questions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So go back to this. So so motion for dismissal. Mm -hmm. So so you get this in the court, and again copies to everybody, right? Or Correct. No? 
Okay, so so motion for dismissal. So everybody knows this is what's going to go on at the court. Yeah. Okay. So so seven of those victories, the first seven, the police officer did not show up to my trial. Didn't even show up. Didn't even show up because I I I believed because they saw the the motions that I was filing. I think the the someone within the court system or the police department, I don't know, said there's no point in showing up. So the last. We're not, we're not going to be able to, we, we don't want to spend the time doing this guy's discovery. And obviously, if he's submitting these motion for dismissal, he knows what he's doing. He, he's got this yeah. going. And, and So the last one, the, the police officer actually worked at a different um, a police station. Right. So he honestly did not, re, re, he did not receive the discovery motion. Everybody else that was properly notified did. So I don't think he got word to stay away. So he actually showed up right. and I was still able to proceed with case law and the stuff we're going to talk about next. But he hadn't... Uh, he hadn't received the sub discovery. ...submitted any of the discovery Correct. answers that you requested. So yes. so he's sitting there stark naked, basically going... And you were able to say, in in the trial, uh, you were able to say, I haven't got my discovery motion for dismissal. Yes, I asked the, the judge, before the trial started, I asked the uh, judge to consider my motion for dismissal based on lack of discovery. Right. Um, he... He, he, uh, judges can, we need to tell the viewers that judges, as they know, can do whatever they want in their courtroom. So we, right. we come Even from Even if it's illegal. They, yes. they, they do it and they shamelessly do it. And I've seen that myself. Yes. They, they, they just, you know, you say, this is the law. They say, yeah, but you know, I'm going to do this other thing. It's yes. not even pretending to, uh, So I, I try to come from a, a place of humility and yeah. respect and right. your honor. I ask that you do this. I'm not saying you have to do this nothing or, provoking to the judge no ever uh, come so. in come in soft and and but yeah. firm but 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 soft right and uh and he's and then the judge said well uh he should have just ruled on it he didn't the judge proceeded to ask me uh and this last time if it was a radar or lidar case hey. and i my response was i don't know what kind of type of case this is your honor because i've not been given the evidence well, he was via discovery. He was testing you. That isn't the thing he would expect you to know. Yes. So he's testing you, and yes. they'll do this. And and if you had said something like, "Well, it's got to be radar or something," then you're you are now fabricating evidence. You're now fabricating the facts. So, and then he can somebody can catch you on that. So yes. so you you got to. It was be a, on it your was toes. a multi layer test for sure. What you said, yeah. and also he's testing me for respect, right, right? My temperament, right? And also my knowledge, right? Right. You know, if I would have said anything besides, I don't know, I haven't been given discovery, shows you lack of knowledge. So if when you, you're missing, when you assert your yeah. rights and you show knowledge, right. Yeah. You, a, even a little bit of, they, uh, of the process. Yes. They yes. respect it. So then, right. uh, the judge asked the police officer, well, let's, let's go through this discovery motion and see what's here. Illegal. Judge's courtroom. I don't, many people may object to that right away. Either the cop has submitted discovery answers or not. Correct. And now what the judge is trying to do is say, well, let's just do this all right now. Yes. Not legal, not fair, but in, you don't want to provoke in, the judge. In that regards, uh, I gave him respect by remaining silent yeah. and giving him leeway. Yeah. And uh, he asked the police officer, "Do you let's go through these items. Do you have the make model uh, manufacturer of the service vehicle? Do you have the recent sp uh, speedometer calibration? Do you have the tire size, tire manufacturer? Police officer. Because he was pacing you, so the tire size yeah. matters for his odometer accuracy. Yeah. So you've you put all these things, and these these things take work for him to do. So this is the whole game. It's like you're not going to want to do all this work. Let's dismiss. Yeah. So the the the, judge, or the police officer did have a few notes, and he says, I, "Your Honor, I do have the tire size with me, and and the recent speedometer calibration. Oh, but you don't have the other stuff." He says, well, okay, the judge says, I'm sorry, we're going to have to dismiss this case due to lack of discovery. Yeah, so you're so, lucky that the judge recognized that some of this thing was not there, and that was the correct legal thing to do. Yes. Is the, the, the officer did not have the, the uh, had not done the, uh, the homework. Yes. And, and so, but uh, if, if there's a judge that, that kind of says, oh, I'm just going to decide. We're just going to do this anyway. Do this anyway. You're at their whim. Well, but Play, you, you start, can, play, start dancing. But uh, dancing means respectfully, you can say, I'm sorry, I have to refer to this case law that says 
I must have discovery by now. And yes. that if I don't have it by now, I get a dismissal. That's what yeah. this case law says. If he and doesn't you have it in your documents, we have that free download at freedomtaker.com. You're Correct. going to have that information right in your hand. Yes. Yeah. So whenever I go into court, I also this will also be available to uh, freedomtaker.com. This will be another uh, notes that I, that I have. This is the case law to support the discovery motions. That'll, yeah. So if the, the judge decides to do whatever he wants and say, yeah. well, we're going to proceed anyways, you could say, Your Honor, I ask that you preclude the testimony of the officer uh, and we can cite uh, Sandifer versus Superior Court 1993. In that so this case, is for California? Yes, only for California. Right. So if you're in another state, you got to find case law and certain things. It's a little more yeah, work. I, all clear. my experience and notes and all these documents, right. only I found they work for me in the right. state of California. I want to go back real, before we forget. Uh, when you go into that courtroom, you're going to have people railroading you. You're going to have uh, intimidation. You're going to have all kinds of confusion. You have to kind of be the boss. You have to go in there and you say, even though I'm respectful, even though I'm deferring to the judge, uh, the minute you get a gap, or even if you don't get a gap, you say, uh, pardon me, excuse me, judge, I'm so sorry, but I have to proceed with something before the additional process yes. because there's something that has to be initially addressed. Yes. And that is my... Firmly but politely, we can assert our rights. Yeah, but you have to get that in before they start running past it because once they're past it, you don't go back. Yes. So you go in and you say, initially, Your Honor, uh, the minute you can get a chance to talk, say initially I'd like to address, bring your attention to this motion for dismissal. I did not receive my, my uh, I'm sorry, the motion for discovery. I did not receive my discovery timely. I have a motion for dismissal based on that, supported by case law. I move for dismissal before we proceed. Yeah. So if they were to go without, and, and the judges can do whatever they want. So if they right. were, so if we can, if they decide to proceed, which is not right according to the law, right. uh, we could ask that they recognize, you know, Sandifer versus Superior Court 1993, which states that if discovery hasn't been granted and the case is going to go on, that the officer, police officer's uh, testimony is precluded. So that only leaves one other party to this ticket, you, and that's me. The defendant is the only remaining witness. And my testimony is... I'm not guilty. I didn't do it. It's in, I'm innocent. So by law, the, at that point, the judge would would only, could only consider, they're human, uh, they could only consider one person's testimony, which is I didn't do it. Right. At that point, they, sh they should dismiss. I, I haven't had right. to go that far yet. Right. Uh, so, so far. I've some judges kind of want to push it and want to play for the prosecutor. And if they do that, you have to say, I I'm sorry, but it's uh, inappropriate to refer to this officer's testimony. His, his, his witness has been removed. I ask that you, everything is a question. Right. Your Honor. Bah, yeah, bah, bah, yeah, bah, request, I ask that you. I requ request or ask that the court uh, uh, refer to this case law, which says that because there is now no witness uh, against me, because uh, discovery was not provided in time, that I move the court for dismissal. Correct. Yeah. So, so, um, uh, so at, at that point, the, uh, the young police officer was noticeably angry. Uh, I don't think he'd been... Um, I don't think he'd seen what transpired before in, right. in a traffic court. Right. Uh, he was less than impressed, yeah. and uh, he stormed out pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, when it so comes, I, so comes, I got I got the free or I, I got the uh, the satisfaction, and I did not I did not smile at him, did not make contact with the you know yeah. head you, down, humble in victory and humble in defeat. Never gloat, never yeah. go yay yay. None of this fist pumping. Told you so. No, oh, nothing, never nothing. get out of that court quiet and sneak out and yeah. uh, no don't don't uh, don't uh, play uh, ego no. with it at all no. uh, and, and again uh, that's, that's a respect to, back to the judge in the court okay right. you, you ruled and yeah. i appreciate that because judges have done things like called people right back from the door as they're walking out and say hey i don't like your attitude i'm going to throw a 30-day contempt of court thing on you or you they know, can they, do whatever they, they want they yeah. are all powerful within yeah. their own court you do court not house. mess with that so so um I think that pretty much covers it. So we I, missed I, any of the points? Um, I just like to uh, uh, reiterate to your viewers: it's it's uh, anytime you you uh, take back your rights and fight for your freedoms and assert yourself. It's a uh, obviously we're not. In, I I rarely go to court, but when I do, I get nervous. You yep. know, we're we're battling for in a traffic. We're battling for basically money, uh, right. three, four, five, six hundred dollars. Right. That's a lot of money to me. I don't want to lose my money. Right. So it's natural to get nervous, but just try to, you know, uh, bring your documents with you, lay them out, 
prepare them in your head, study them, right. you know, as everybody else is going before you, just keep right. reading your notes, reading your notes. And maybe watch this get video a couple times so you know the process you're going to go through. There you go. And get confident and have yourself a plan 